In the following video, I'm going to show you how to display children's work. It's a wonderful way for you to demonstrate and show what you're doing in class. And this is just basically an example which you can use. You'll just need to customize it and make it your own. I'm sure you'll find it pretty helpful. The common icons at the top here, and you'll see in your to admin, you'll see it says manage and display blogs. So you click on that and you will then see here are a list of blogs that I have already constructed with regard to computers. I haven't been as specific with my names of my blog saying grade 4A computers, which I should because you don't want your blog to have the same name as some other teacher's blog, So, which probably won't make any difference anyway. But when you want to construct the display board, you're going to go on this plus sign over here and I'm going to just click on it and here you're going to name your display board. So I'll call this one grade 7 computer work and this one will be displaying a work, displaying work that involves shapes and here I'm going to ensure that other learners can see the person's name, hide the class name um, I think that I'll do that so we won't really see. This is indicating that only the teachers can push content onto the bulletin board. In other words, the teacher is providing work or activities for children. And visible to the public would mean that outside people can access the blog and have a look at what you have done. And archived, hidden, but still accessible with a link it means you can't see the, the actual blog. No one will be able to see it. But if you display or send a link, a hyperlink, people would be able to access that blog. I'm not going to archive it and hit hide it. I'd like the children to be able to see it. And I'm going to make this available to all my grade seven classes. So I'm going to go that all classes can see the work. So we'll go all classes. And then I'm going to go save. Display board was successfully saved. Click OK. And if I go back to Purple Mesh, back to Purple Mesh, we'll click on the appropriate icon in the sharing section and it should display that. So we'll call it, it was called Grade 7 Computer Work. There it is, Grade 7 Computer Work. And when you open this, you'll see that's what it looks like. Now, if I click on Edit, this is all the display of work that the teacher has moderated it and it is approved and it's now been published on the blog. Unapproved items would indicate that the child has submitted work for the blog, but it still needs to be given approval by the teacher. The question now is how would a child publish to a particular blog? Let's just give a very simple display. And I'm gonna use something pretty easy. Go with CLI, construct something that would give you some indication of how a child would do this and here we're going to a red background and I'm going to go that they are using simple shapes that so we're going to use a pentagon a circle and we'll go with a star they're going to have to construct something so I'm going to say construct tessellation tessellation my spelling is incorrect there but I'm not going to worry construct a piece of art that shows repetition pattern and I click on OK and now when the child saves the work they go on that button over there and I'm going to just save it in my work but you can see that they can save it in various folders and I'll call it test tessellations OK and it's now saved all right now once it's saved you can also post it to the blog if I go over there the child would then be able to see their particular blog, but they won't see all these other ones. The other ones are off, off boundaries to other classes. So grade seven computers was the one. I say, are you sure you want to submit to the display board? Yes. And I go, yes. And work is successfully displayed or submitted. We go, okay. And now you have a piece of work found on that display board. And remember, I did make that this particular piece of work is open to the public. Anyone can see it. So if you go to the display board, you'll have a good look over there and the children will be able to do that as well. You'll see if we go over here, unapproved items. I have not yet approved my own item. So that would be looked at. You could write a comment here. You can give a, a mark, a star, or an emoticon to kind of indicate that you found the work good. 
So, and you approve it. So good work, good work, eight out of 10. And I'll go with a thumbs up, even though that's a poor bit of work and save. If there's a whole list of other kids that want to hand in their work, you'll go save and next place mine over there. So if we go to the approved items, you can see only one bit of work has now been posted up on this site. If you wanted to search for a particular child's name, you go M R and it would then find that piece of work. If you're looking for Chelsea C H and you'll see that would then find the particular child's name. So this is pretty useful, an opportunity display classwork, wonderful avenue to publish projects and put those on display. Not only most things that are found in, in Purple Mesh have that ability that you can post them. Thank you very much for watching this video. I ask that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I hope that what I have shown you has proven to be quite useful. Thank you. Please do come and see me if there's anything you'd like to find out. I would be more than willing to assist you. You will not regret familiarizing yourself with some of these tools.